Girl, what are you doing? Hey guys, it's Suresh. Welcome back to my channel. Excited to be sharing another doll review with you guys today. This doll is from the new Barbie Look Collection 2016 second wave of dolls. There are two new ones, Party Perfect and Festival. She is here, uh, Miss Party Perfect. And I have to say also, she has been sitting here at my place for, oh gosh, like three weeks now. I have been so busy recently, so I really have not had time to record. Without further ado, let's get her open and see what she is all about. All right, here she is. Let's take a look at Miss Party Perfect. Oh, oh. Oh my goodness, the shoes. <gasps> she is just really cute. Wow. What I love is you can't see the joints. Y'all know I like not seeing the joints. So there she is in her box. Presentation, as always, is beautiful. The back of the box does have um, Miss Urban Jungle that came out earlier in the year. She has her certificate of authenticity here on the back. The standard black Barbie stand. There she is in the box before I take her out of her packaging. She does come with the stand that um, clips her at the waist. Yes, it's not a saddle stand. It's a clip style. I probably will not be taking all these little accessories out, although, oh my gosh, there are some. <gasps> oh, that's so cute. There's a little picture of her and the blonde Barbie in a little white frame. Oh, stop it. This to me is just a little more playline than I'm comfortable with for a collector doll, at least one that I would call a collector doll. However, I appreciate all the little details and I definitely think that Bill Greeting is delivering what Mattel is asking of him and giving the public what they seem to want. Here she is and I... <laughs> Oh no, she has that weak body that Sweet Tea does. Oh, oh, boo, 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 boo. In here, dying for these shoes. By the way, something I just discovered by myself, you know these little three tabs that a lot of the dolls have? I learned that if you hold her head tight and pull, they all come out at once. See, they don't break and they come out just as they should. And I was shocked to discover that like very recently because for years I've been like pulling it tightly and then getting my scissors and like trying to cut it and turns out you just pull, who knew? Her bag is like clipped to her skirt here. So let me get rid of that. She does have a beautiful purse love this it's unlike any of the other barbie purses that i've seen before so love that and i will give you a close-up of this shortly her hair is very pretty it's a side ponytail and there is a lot of hair like a lot of hair very thick it looks much darker in the promo photos um, it's actually a little bit lighter in person so that's interesting. I do love the hairstyle. It has like a very 50s, 60s look to it and I do like that. Adorable earrings. They're like little bows and they are so, so pretty. Very um, proportioned to her face. So that I love. Her ponytail is actually wrapped with a little bit of her hair and the hair that it's wrapped with is a little bit lighter. She does have the Leah face sculpt, which I love. Beautiful face, very soft pink lips with a gorgeous smoky brownish um, charcoal eye, beautiful eyebrows. The top, it's like a metallic jersey mix and it has like a silver thread running through it. The fabric on her blouse, it looks like it snags very easily. The top does come off with Velcro, so that's a bummer because at this level of collector doll, I mean, she's she's black label, I know, this, but I feel like this is almost more pink label or playline. Bummer on that. 
don't love that at all. The skirt, however, does have a snap closure. There we go on that. One, two, three. Oh, okay, that's nice. Three layers of white tulle, and it uh, appears to be a polyester tulle. And then one layer of this horribly unfortunate fabric, which is like the cheapest lining fabric. I feel like I have seen this on like every single Playline doll ever. The stitching and craftsmanship is okay. It's good. The hem is nicely finished off. I don't know why, I mean, this fabric is just so cheap. It's so cheap. It's so, ugh, like, it's, it's too bad. Let's take a look at her shoes. My first observation is I feel like the shoe might be a little too big for her foot, perhaps. Hmm. She does not have a pedicure. These were the touches that, do you see what I mean? Again, I love the shoes, but there it goes. I'm increasingly getting a little more frustrated with this doll, I have to say. Here she is, up close and personal. Miss Party Perfect. There are her little earrings, there are little bows. So I love that detail. I think it's very pretty. I do feel like I'm going to definitely like be washing her hair because as you can see, it's a little bit of a thick mess and um, there are a few curls here and there, but not really. And there's a bit of a blunt cut on this side. Um, but the coloration is lovely in that there are these like golds and blondes and, um, all sorts of beautiful caramel -y colors, which we saw similarly um, in the black and white ball gown doll. So that's cute. You can see that the top closure is Velcro, which is unfortunate, but from the front, the top is definitely adorable. It's a beautiful long sleeve mock turtleneck. Love that. The necklace, as you can see, um, has all sorts of little interesting details. They're like flowers and hearts and all that kind of thing. But I have to say the necklace just feels very playline to me. Up close detail of the skirt. Here are the various layers. There's one, there's two, and there's three. Can you see the hole that was made from her bag being attached to her? So that's what I mean. The fabric is so cheap that it like shows every hole. And I understand that these types of fabrics are not the best at being pierced. And if that was the case, they just should not have pierced the fabric. There are her hands so that you can see her manicure, soft pink, pretty, and that's the skirt unbuttoned. So it has a little silver snap um, or a large silver snap actually. Here are close-up details of the shoes. They are beautiful Dorsey heels. And I love the little detail in the back in that you can see where the heel connects to the shoe. The bow detail in the front, I think is just beautiful and very, very adorable. You can even actually see the heel tap, which I love. Um, it's kind of etched in there. It's made of a flexible plastic, like a lot of the Model Muse shoes are, so that's good. Here is her purse. So a really beautiful little purse. I do like that very much. In terms of articulation, she has all the, the points of articulation that we've come to see from these dolls that they have been doing for the look. The wrist, the elbow, the shoulder, um, the neck, obviously, the knee, and the thigh. This is the necklace by itself. Mm -hmm. You guys, this top is very, very finicky. I mean, it's already like pulling back here and this Velcro is like eating at it. So be very careful when you are handling this. The skirt itself, let's see. The waistband is cute. It's the same horrible fab white fabric that they use for the lining, uh, but the stitching on it is cute and it's uniform. As you can see, not the same length. The back is in fact shorter than the front. I realize that I'm being probably way too particular and picky in comparing this to the $100 silk stone that's back there, but it is what it is, I guess. So Miss Party Perfect feels much heavier than Miss Sweet Tea does. His hands are the same. 
Miss Sweet Tea just feels very hollow and Party Perfect actually feels a little more significant and her joints are not as loose. Her legs actually feel a little bit stronger when you move them, whereas opposed to her, it feels like they would like snap off at any moment. I pulled out a shoe from uh, the Zuhair Murad doll, which is a traditional modern used Barbie body. It does look like the pink shoe is a tad bit bigger. I'm going to see if the Zuhair Murad pump fits on uh, her foot, Miss Party Perfect's foot. Weirdly, it sort of doesn't. Weird, look, it doesn't actually stay on her feet very well at all. Hmm. I think perhaps just my doll has slightly dysfunctional feet. I thought I would pull out one of my gorgeous Model Muse dolls. Um, this is one of the gorgeous ones that came out, um, I guess last year was it? Uh, part of the City Shine collection. She was recently wearing my Blue Dragon ball gown and um, she's just so fierce. I love her so much and this is the reason why I started buying the Barbie look series and I'm just <laughs> heartbroken because this is just not the same. And she just feels more solid, you know? And she definitely feels better than Miss Sweetie does, like for sure. So that's a huge step up for me. The shoes are a little ill-fitting. Huge bummer because this was the reason why I wanted her. Here is traditional City Shine Model Muse wearing the pink dorsets from Party Perfect. And as you can see, her left foot is sort of falling out of the shoe. There is just a lot of toe cleavage. You can see that on her because of her toe polish, but that basically means that uh, the shoe is significantly larger <laughs> than her foot. And I know that Barbie Collector does that, and it's usually not a big issue, but that explains why Miss Party Perfect does not have a pedicure, because if she did, you would see this. Here is a close-up of the accessories that are included with Miss Party Perfect. For those of you who do like these little details and use these for, you know, your posing photos and that type of thing, I think you would really enjoy them. So there you have it, Miss Party Perfect in the plastic. <laughs> Get it? Like in the flesh? <laughs> I really, you know, wanted to love her more than I actually do. Overall, a bit of a fail for me. I have to say, I'm a bit disappointed. I'm disappointed by the quality of the fabric on both the top and the skirt. I find it really cheap and unnecessarily cheap. In a black label doll at, you know, the $30 price point, I expect to see a little bit better quality than this. If you are thinking of getting her and you are the type of collector who loves to create little dioramas and play with your dolls and pose them, etc. I think you would really enjoy her. However, if you're a collector like myself and the most posing you do is getting them in and out of clothes and taking pictures of them as I do with my gowns, um, this might not be the doll for you. I hope you liked the review. I hope that it was helpful. Please do give it a thumbs up if you liked the video and don't forget to subscribe. Until I see you guys again, Barbie and I are gonna go uh, check out this soiree that she's invited to. I got my matching bow tie on and uh, we're gonna hit the town and see what's happening. I'm sending you lots of love wherever you are in the world. Big hugs and kisses from me here in New York. Bye guys.